Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss where respiration takes place. Um, cellular respiration actually has three parts to it, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation. And it, respiration takes place in two different locations depending on the part of the cycle you're in. So glycolysis is simply changing glucose into two pyruvates and producing a little bit of energy, that takes place in the cell's cytoplasm, so the, the liquid that makes up the majority of the cell. Um, then the Krebs cycle, um, which basically generates some ATP and, and a couple other molecules from that pyruvate, occurs inside the mitochondria, um, and it actually occurs in the mitochondrial matrix, which is the innermost section of the mitochondria. The last step in, the, in cellular respiration is oxidative phosphorylation. Um, it's also known as the, the electron transport chain. And this step also occurs in the mitochondria, um, but it occurs across the mitochondrial crista, or crista. Um, and basically, the crista is the, the wavy section of the mitochondria that um, forms a membrane between the matrix, the inner part, and the outer uh, the outer area inside of the membrane, though. So oxidative phosphorylation occurs along that membrane, the, the cristae. If respiration is anaerobic instead of aerobic, so that means that it is, is lacking oxygen, anaerobic, it, the process of, of generating... Well, anaerobic respiration also takes place in the cell's cytoplasm along, alongside of glycolysis. So... This has been a discussion of where respiration actually takes place.